New tonight, it's been seven years since the death of Sydney Smith. She was an 18 year old senior at Bernie Champion High School who died in a high speed car crash. Now the driver of the vehicle has yet to serve any time behind bars despite being convicted of criminally negligent homicide back in 2019. Ken's five reporter Zach Briggs spoke with Smith's family who longs for the day when true justice is served. The pain of losing your daughter never really goes away. Her birthday, March 12th, is also her death day. Sydney Smith would have turned 25 last Saturday, seven years since she was killed in that horrific car crash. She deserves to be remembered and she deserves justice. Investigators say Aiden Vitella had reached speeds of up to 115 miles per hour here along Scenic Loop Road, eventually slowing down to just above 60 miles per hour before crashing into this tree, killing Sydney and injuring her friend Victoria Snell. Meanwhile, Sydney's mother, Paula Churchwell, says that her daughter was destined to save the lives of others. She was an amazing girl. She was um, intelligent beyond her years, compassionate, ambitious. She wanted to be a, a trauma surgeon. The journey to justice has been drawn out through a lengthy appeals process by Vitella who was convicted in 2019 of Sydney's death. He's yet to serve the maximum sentence of two years in prison after bonding out. During the punishment phase, the state released information about Vitella's other run-ins with the law, including evidence of an alleged at-fault accident nine months after the 2015 incident. I think as long as Aiden Vitella is out on the streets, none of our children are safe. The Fourth Court of Appeals upheld the conviction in September 2021. Vitella's legal team now in the midst of another appeal. What kind of justice system are we living in when, when you can essentially buy your appeals to, to prolong your time, you know, pr to prolong your freedom? Sydney's Aunt Michelle Robinson longs for the day when there will be true accountability. We're still going to mourn the loss of her, of course, but we just want justice for her. She deserves that. Paula has a message for the man who caused her daughter's death. I know that you were there when she died, and, and she died a horrible, horrible, horrendous death. And I know that's weighing heavily on you. And I just wish you would serve your time and then just make something of yourself. In Bernie, Zach Briggs, Ken's Five.